and we are live so let's check the audio if everything is fine yes it uh, sounds fine and see if we get some people i know it's not the most perfect time to live stream it's in the middle of a working day and i have the day off but i have a nice package and i will unbox it at in this video so let's join my own live stream on my uh, laptop so I can see the chat and see if there are already people. So let's go here. Okay, we have two viewers I see. And I have an advertisement on my own uh, video. <laughs> Wait, let's mute the audio. Hi Ashley, hi uh, Crocodile, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, the audio is now off. Who are you and what did you do with Bearded Victor? Yeah, I, I can't say what I did to him, but <laughs> it will grow back, it will grow back. So... So we have two f nine viewers, nine, nice. So come, uh, let let uh, let me know that you are uh, here, so we can start with this box of hardware. And I bought this online. I saw an advertisement with a lot of old hardware, and I was saying, oh, I want to pay thirty euros for it, very low price, uh, if you know what's inside it. So he said, oh, I have someone for 50 euros. I, so I said, oh, I can go up to 60 and, and I didn't even want to pay more than that. And then he said, okay, uh, what do you like to uh, have? Because I have some more stuff and I can just put it in the box. Uh, so I said, yeah, just all old all, all PC hardware, just put it in it and I will see it. So there is probably more in the box than I saw in the advertisement, but I'm not sure uh, what I will get and that the, the extras are probably not that that special. Is the chat lacking or is it just not much people uh, chatting? Let me check on my PC. No, that's just, you are only lurking, you only want to see I think the package. <laughs> ah, three likes already on the video. Shall we open it? And it is 16 kilos of PC hardware. 7.30 AM. <laughs> yeah, it's super early. Yeah, it's just the, the worst time to do a live stream. <laughs> but I want to know what's in this package. And it is also more just to uh, of course live stream it and chat with you and after it it will be uploaded to YouTube for the rest that wants to know what's inside of it. <laughs> I want to see the man with no beard. Here I am. <laughs> so Let's open the box. It's a pretty big box. It's from an uh, HP Pavilion PC. I see already some some nice stuff in here. Wait, shall I just flip the box over on the table? Oh no, no. Wait. Don't don't do that. Some uh, good packing stuff with air bubbles. More of that super mouse 2 manual. Okay, a manual here. A manual of the Miro Video DV300. So that's already in hint what's in it. The book of the Miro Video DV300. So a lot of documentation, more papers. Something about uh, Adobe Premiere version 5.1 for Windows. And I also have that version in a complete software package. So that is uh, that's nice. Let's move the camera a bit up. 
so you can see a bit more of me. Here, a Sound Blaster product guide. It's not saying which Sound Blaster, but let's see. It looks like an ISA card, but also Sound Blaster Live. I don't know, but a Sound Blaster documentation. Nice, an Asus HCP V3200 uh, series uh, manual. And that, that is, I think, a TNT. Nice. So there's probably a Riva TNT2 inside of this box. More documentation, Miro video, PC TV. Oh, nice. The book of Adobe Premiere 5.0, 5.1. The complete user guide. Nice. Maybe the whole software is inside, but I'm not sure. But I have already the software. The chat is really silent today. And we have 23 people watching. So let me know if you are in the chat and uh, who you are. I'd like to know uh, more about you and chat with you. Escom, Marken Disketten. Five and a quarter inch. But there are no, wait, there are software inside. So we have two CD-ROMs inside. CD-ROM today. Never heard of it. But there are some games on it, some multimedia stuff. Photo CD, so it's probably some kind of shareware CD. And another one. Also with games and software and stuff. And for DOS and Windows and the other had something for the Mac. Hey Scooby, hey Home Computer Museum, how are you doing? Long, long time no see. <laughs> Hello from Manchester, hey. If you happen to find a Kravis ultrasound, call me. Uh, maybe, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have here a uh, five and a quarter inch uh, Super Mouse 2 uh, floppy. So a uh, nice driver for an, uh, for an di uh, for mouse, not a diskette. MVGA 2000 utility, utility 2 and utility 3. So that's probably from a video card, but I'm not sure. But Nice to have it. Let me see what this is. Micro disc. It's not full. Okay, it's a box of diskettes. Okay, Sunblaster CD. CD-ROM install disc. Oh my god! Original Sunblaster Pro drivers! I was looking for them! Awesome! This is really cool! I have Pro Disk 1 and Pro Disk 2. And I was looking for them for working ones for my 286. Nice! Awesome! Oh, and a diskette with lemmings. Also on Crate King. Indiana Polis 500, a simulation, disc 1, nice. Sound Blaster Text to Speech, awesome. Another Sound Blaster diskette. And HSC Interactive Special Edition Program Disc. Never heard of it, but it's probably uh, nice. And it's an original diskette. Greetings from Tunisia, I like your channel. Hi Ben. Nice to see you here. How much are they worth? I have a classic in my 486. Uh, and uh, Kravis Ultrasound Classic, uh, they, they are uh, getting uh, worth uh, more and more, but I'm not sure how much. Some generic mouse driver. Nice. So, let's 
let's see another box with this sketch this one is a bit cooler Emper arcade player and uh, this cat supporting this cat of an Asus motherboard always nice diamond video for Windows runtime so this also probably in a driver disk oh nice the original diskettes of the there's a typo in this diskette the diamond not the stealth but the cell 64 <laughs> so that's probably uh, <laughs> a wrong label <laughs> but they are original diskettes and they are brand new so they are the uh, the uh, cell 64 video drivers now uh, not find the stealth but the cell video card okay let's Okay, more drivers for DOS, uh, CUT and NT. Nice, also brand new. All, always good to find the old drivers. Uh, Logitech mouse driver. Very nice to have. Some TV card driver probably, but they just reuse in this cat, so not sure <laughs> uh, if it's still on there, but I will keep it, maybe the hardware is inside and so we need to have the driver. Uh, TV MPEG card from Philips, utilities and drivers, disk 1 and 2. Nice, CD-ROM device driver, FX series, proprietary bus. Always nice to have the good driver. Nice diskettes uh, in here. More documentation from Pinnacle. Some uh, floppy cable, IDE cable, another IDE cable, IDE cable, floppy cable. A very long IDE cable, always handy for if you do a big tower build. And this is a really nice one because all the connectors are open. So this is a really flexible cable. Love it. An extreme long floppy cable, but with a pretty strange configuration with uh, here for five and a quarter inch drive and here for the three and a half inch drives and i see the connector is broken here so nice long cable but not the most practical but you can make a lot of fudu 2 bridges out of this length and another very long ide cable but this one is messed up, so that's not good. And another IDE cable. And the IDE cables look really in a good shape. So not really bended, not dirty. So it's good for the collection. We have 33 people uh, watching. Nice. Oh, wait, now 32. <laughs> We have some PCM news agent software, uh, your personal news reader for internet, never heard of it, and it is in Dutch. PCM software 2001 top 25, so it's a shareware CD. The 50 uh, best programs for the internet, also shareware, backup CD, PCM, internet holiday CD from PCM. Uh, PC consumer from 94 so probably also shareware PCM internet PCM toolbox 250 megabyte shareware programs a lot 
I think this person had an uh, um, uh, that PCM magazine uh, uh, in his mail. <laughs> And DVD from PCM with power tools, a lot of shareware. Uh, the best and uh, 100 shareware programmer. <laughs> so it's in German uh, version. The Miro Video uh, uh, DV300 Scusi uh, driver disc, very nice. Uh, Pina uh, Pinnacle software. Oh nice, a copy of Adobe Premiere 5.1, awesome, with serials, so nice to have. And more Miro, Fear, Miro Video uh, software uh, discs, nice. Agents was the Usenet reader back in the days, nice. At ah, the time when PCM was great. Yeah, they are probably not that. Are they still around the PCM? I'm not sure. More good packing material. I hope everything survived in this box because it's pretty full and stacked. So I hope the, the, the seller did a great job with putting packaging material between it. But I think it looks, it looks okay. Let's remove some packing material first. Okay, we have a sound blaster live, but without the uh, big connector for the front unit, the CT4670, but it looks very shiny, so it is probably, I think it's one of the first versions. So that's very nice. Here we have a uh, modem. Nothing special. Wait, let's zoom in the camera for all the nice hardware. Here we have an ISA card and with a game port and a uh, parallel port and two COM ports. So this is a nice I.O. Uh, card with jumpers here. So uh, nice to have. So if you do an um, an uh, XT build or a 286, you can use a card like this for all your I.O. But this is more for an XT because it's an 8-bit ISA card. Here we have a uh, TV card from Pinnacle. This probably, uh, I think, wait, it doesn't make sense, this connector. I need to s figure out what this card is, because it's not a normal COM port. And it doesn't look like a video chip, but m maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is a video card, or I need to check this one out later. Uh, memory module, SD RAM. Oh, here are the brackets from the I.O. card to COM ports. Here we have a Diamond Stealth 64, uh, where also the video, the driver disc from. Uh, this is a Diamond Stealth 64, and we also have the uh, drivers on this. I love uh, Diamond video cards, and this also with the extra memory modules. So this is probably a two megabyte uh, video card. Nice, and this is a nice combination if you combine it with a. 3DFX Fudu 1. Yeah, S3 f now it's an S3 3064 V plus. So it's before the S3 first. Here we have an uh, ISA IDE controller from Mini Scribe. 
uh, Mini Scribe Corporation AT disc controller made in Hong Kong. Here we have the floppy uh, connector and here we have the IDE connector. And this also looks in a really nice state. It's still shiny so it doesn't smell uh, anything bad. So if you use this one in combination with the I.O. card you have a really nice uh, base to start of your uh, 286 build. Nice. Uh, let me see. More documentation from the video card, from a CD, uh, CD-ROM drive. A 486 manual. Okay. From manual. Uh, a manual from an Asus Pentium 1 motherboard. Text to speech use guide from the creative uh, stuff. My table is getting. Uh, too small. Nice, we have here an Asus Pentium 1 motherboard with an original Cooler Master Cooler and the clips looks, oh no, no, it's broken here, too bad. <laughs> I was looking for the old Cooler Master Coolers but this one, the clip is also broken off. But it is still holding on by two clips. And let me see what chipset it is. It's an... Uh, oh, that's dip. <laughs> it's an Asus P55TP4XE. And the chipset is the... Oh, this is a nice one. It's an old one. It's the FX66 chipset. So this is probably uh, one of the first Socket 7 motherboards. And here we have the cache module. Because you can also put it in cache here. But this one is with a loose module. Don't fall. <laughs> uh, and the uh, uh, cache module is original from Asus. Let me see where spin 1. Or is it just one way? Yes. It can, can only be fitted in one way. So we have the cache module here and not sure how big it is. Uh, no. And a CPU. And the CPU is on 120 megahertz uh, Intel Pentium. Nice. And here we have the CPU cooler, but here the plastic is broken. I have Socket 7 on board, it was from my first PC, nice. The, the board looks like it has one of those Dallas chips. Uh, let me check, yes it has a Dallas and it is soldered on the motherboard. So it's probably empty, but uh, a friend of mine can uh, can do repairs on them uh, so and this one is nice uh, 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 nice and open other, I have other boards where they are between the slots and then they can be more difficult to modify but this one is pretty easy and we have some memory modules in it so this is a nice uh, motherboard which complete with all the memory and cache and stuff. Love it. Okay, some more brackets. Uh, a com bracket, a parallel bracket. So they are the parallel bracket is from this motherboard probably. What do we have here? We have a Philips. I think this is also a TV card or a capture card. 
but also with a VGA output. Not sure if this is a real VGA output or that they use the connector for something. But it is an, an SV20 from Philips. PCA 20TM. Also really shiny. So probably I had some Ampeg drivers, so they are probably also from this card. So nice to have. Yes, two, two, <laughs> uh, two Dallas chipsets are really a pain. <laughs> uh, ah, TV tuner card, yes. I have a shortage on 8486 machines. Yeah, me too. The, they are uh, uh, becoming less uh, common. Okay, let's continue. Here we have a nice uh, Asus V3232 uh, megabyte with uh, TV in and out and VR out. So this is a Riva TNT. I'm not sure if this is the Ultra or not, but it is a very nice card to uh, find. I need to clean the uh, CPU cooler, so I hope it's still uh, running fine. But this is a pretty decent card. If you use it, for example, in an Athlon uh, 600 or Pentium 3 600, this is really a good fast uh, card to uh, game on. Probably the TNT2 Ultra if it has the Fulu uh, or the 3D uh, classes. Nice. Wish there is a Fulu 5. I'm not sure. I don't think so. There's a Fulu stuff inside. But the Riva TNT2 Ultra or the normal one is always nice to find. And I have also the 3D classes and stuff because I have another similar card. So. Hi Frank, how are you doing? Uh, where did you buy that box? Uh, I didn't mention it, but I bought it on Marktplatz and that's a Dutch variation of eBay. And I paid 60 euro for all this hardware and software. Okay, here we have a uh, modem card and it is an 8-bit ISA with some pretty hefty parts on it. I'm not sure what speed it is. Let me see, it is a uh, sticker that, uh, uh, that the coverments allows it. So this is a nice uh, old school modem card. Here with the beeper and here can solder more parts and pretty decent chips. Nice. Normally I don't uh, like modems, but modems like this, I probably will keep them. Okay, here we have the manual of the Sound Blaster Pro. Here another uh, manual from the Sound Blaster Pro. The manual of the Philips TV card. Nice. The MVDA 2000 manual, also nice. Some printed manual of the Asus motherboard. Here we have an uh, ISA video card. And it is full of memory and it's a Quattel Trident and TVGA 8900B. And these are really decent video cards for DOS gaming for your 286 or 386. So this is really nice. 
and uh, brand is Octec and it is from 1999 no it's 1990 so it's from 1990 not 1999 <laughs> uh, Mark is part of eBay is it? I don't know TNT is better than 128 yes the Reefa TNT and TNT2 are much better than the 128. Well, that's an one serious isolation transformer. Yes, it is. What if the. Uh, it's cheaper and less trusted than eBay. But if you do uh, deals like this, I never had any problems with old parts like this but with mark plats and new laptops or phones you can probably get screwed and but for stuff like this for the really low budget uh, uh, fun things to buy uh, th then then this is I think the mark plats is a really great option it's still just like putting the paper uh, paper note in the supermarket to get your stuff sold that's more the idea of mark class here another com bracket some remote control of Philips let's see what's in this box what is this okay uh yeah yeah <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> uh yeah that was not in the advertisement but you can uh yeah yeah make your own clothes with it and are there battery no there are no no batteries inside yeah uh yes this is uh this is the top piece of the collection <laughs> yes a sewing machine <laughs> yeah let's put that away maybe i can do a giveaway of the sewing machine i don't know There's more white boxes in it inside, so I don't hope this is another sewing machine. Oh wait! Oh, luckily it's not not saying on. It's saying Medion PC USB RF remote control set, but that's not inside. That's, so that's lucky because I don't like Medion. But there's a CPU inside. Let me see what we have. We have an Intel Pentium. Is this a two or a three? Let me check. Okay, we have an Intel Pentium three, running at four hundred fifty megahertz with a uh, custom cooler. Nice, and it is the SL thirty five D, and they can probably overclock to a decent level. Always nice to have Pentium 3 CPUs. More Sound Blaster documentation. Let me see what's in this white box. I don't hope another sewing machine. Oh, nice. There's 8 bit hardware inside. So let's check out what this card is. Uh, yes, it's a Pentium 3 450 megahertz. Okay, what do we have here? It looks like a uh, parallel port card, but I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes it can be a special interface. But I need to check that out later and Google it what it exactly is. But a nice 8 bit ISA card. And finding ISA cards becomes uh, harder uh, nowadays. 
Okay, here we have another card. Okay, this is a uh, uh, COM card, a TP009 Async RS232 communication card. So this is an extra COM, uh, uh, COM port and I see very nice shiny jumper, so probably cold plated jumper. So this is a really high end hardware, love it. Uh, yes, the other card is probably LPT, and this one is probably a Comport. So, let's see what we have here. We have an, uh, a Philips uh, CD uh, writer from January 1999, and it's with the golden uh, front plate and the black, not dark gray unit. They are, re I really like the styling of this uh, uh, unit. And it is an IDE um, CD-ROM drive with a little fan here. And we have a creative six speed CD-ROM player. So this is very nice for a Pentium build. And I see that the uh, uh, volume button is a bit, oh no, the front is, game loose okay the buttons are all working so I need to test out this drive it's also IDE nice six-speed drive here we have a pioneer uh, slot in DVD from March 1999 and it's also IDE nice Lo love those units they are really good and Love them to put them in builds. Okay, w here we have a uh, floppy drive from the brand uh, No Name. Oh, and Tayak floppy drive. There, yeah, they were probably just the budget floppy drives. Another floppy drive from Sony, always nice. Here we have a 5 and a quarter inch uh, floppy drive, an F, a Xenon FZ506. So it is 360 kilobyte or 1.2 uh, megabyte. Can someone Google that for me? The Xenon FZ506. Yeah, Teyak and Mitsumi were the workhorses of uh, from the 90s. Yeah, they sold a lot of units. So, th does any is anyone cooking Xenon FZ506? Because I love to know if this 1.2 or 360. Google set is on high density. Nice. So it's probably a 1.2 uh, megabyte drive. Awesome! Yes! And it looks in a uh, decent shape, not not dirty or something. No dust inside. Yeah, love it. The color is uh, okay. Little bit yellowed uh, instead of gray, but good drive. Hi Femke, how are you? I will uh, put the camera a little bit higher up or lower so you can't see the top of my head. <laughs> Here we have a Mitsumi uh, CD-ROM drive. It's in double speed. It's the uh, CRMC FX001D. And I love those units and I I have the same unit in my 286 build and it is not a normal IDE drive but you need to have an interface card. But these are really really nice drives. <laughs> Fan. <laughs> uh, I really need to get some more floppy drives the last two I have. 
have the lead broken uh, the five and a quarter inch floppy drives or the or the three and a half inch okay we here have an uh, adapter for uh, to put floppy drives on your normal uh, molex connectors but this is a pretty dangerous one because there is not much uh, tabs on it so you can easily pro so you can probably swap it around so let's see this is a normal position and if you really want you can push in it on the wrong direction so this is a dangerous cable And here we have another white box. Let's see what's inside. Ah, I see. This is a pretty nice card. It's an, uh, a Miro uh, uh, card uh, from Pinnacle Systems. And it's the Miro DV300, and it has a squishy connector here, and firewire, so it is to capture firewire cameras directly to your squishy hard drive in your video editing system, with an adapter squishy chip, uh, I think it was an ultra wide chip, so this is a pretty nice uh, card to uh, put in a uh, Pentium 3 system to uh, use as a video editing system. Awesome. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at this cable. I, I spent really a few hours to try to make them without success <laughs> this is pretty awesome because this card i also have in my 286 uh, build and this card is the uh, ide interface or the cd-rom interface of this mitsumi uh, drive so this mitsumi drive and this card together uh, it's a very nice combination to get your double speed CD-ROM player working in your system. And this is the cable for the audio from the CD-ROM to the outputs here on the back of the card. Love it! And this is why I bought this big package because I saw that, was that this double speed and this interface card was in it. It's one of the Pinnacle DV editing cards probably came with Premiere, yeah, with the Premiere 5. Yeah, the Premiere 5 and the drivers and all the books and that is the complete uh, package of the Pinnacle uh, stuff, probably. Okay, so more packing material and more packing material and there's one item left. And that is a very nice card. It's a Sound Blaster Pro 2, the CT1600. So I also bought this uh, big package because this card was in it. And this is a really nice sound card. And I also have this one in my 286 build. So, love this card. And here you have a volume button and then the game port and... Also here you have an IDE controller, not sure for what kind of drive, but uh, it's a really, really nice card. And here also the CD in, I'm not sure if it was compatible with this cable, let's, let's try. Yes, it's the same, uh, same connector. So I hope uh, that uh, uh, the cables are also the same, uh, connected the same way. Yep, 
but I also now have the drivers for this card because they also were included. So I can finally install the drivers from that card on my 286 and get this card running with the audio output and the CD in because you need to have the drivers installed for the Sound Blaster 2 if you want to use the CD uh, in uh, on this card. Nice. So let's remove the big box. So we have a lot of hardware here. Uh, let's move the camera a little bit. So this is the end. Ah, how, how long am I streaming now? Let me check. Oh, we are streaming now for 45 minutes. So that's pretty decent. So maybe we can make it a stream of one hour. Uh, so if you have questions, uh, please ask them. And what's, what I really like about this kit is if we take the CD-ROM interface with the Sound Blaster 2.0 and the double speed CD-ROM drive, we have really a nice kit, a nice multimedia kit. Let's zoom in the camera a bit. So we, so this is the same kind of kit that I have in my 286 uh, build. But for a 286 uh, or a 386 or even a lower end 486, this is the perfect multimedia upgrade kit. So I really love that, and and this is really good hardware. With 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 you, uh, when you're installing it, it is without issues, and I now have all the drivers for it. So love it. Yeah, Femke, I really need a bigger room. So if you have some uh, rooms to spare where you live, I can uh, use some uh, <laughs> some rooms. I want to have uh, one uh, uh, bedroom uh, and uh, one YouTube studio, please. <coughs> and I also love that we have a 1.2 uh, megabyte floppy drive. So that, <coughs> that in combination with the multimedia kit, it makes a really good uh, upgrade for systems. So we have a lot of 90, old 90s hardware in it. And uh, here the, the six speed creative drive, I love it. And the DVD stuff and a lot of cool hardware in it. And the floppy drives and a lot of documentation. And the Miro uh, capture card. I'm not sure if I going to use it in a system because I also have the Miro DC30 uh, cards where I still need to find the software off. So uh, if someone has the original software of the Miro DC30, please send me a copy. <coughs> there was a really great haul. Yes, I really love it. There's a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, I have one of those Pro 2s. Yes, I think I have three Pro 2s now. Or, yes, three. Uh, so they kept the car design from the first one. The one speed wasn't drive, but with a big tray. Yeah, the I think the first the. The one speed Mitsumi is with an, uh, yeah, the CD Caddy tray. Uh, the Pro 2s are such a reliable card. Yes. And that's why I, when I saw that there was the Pro 2 in it with the double speed uh, set with the interface card, I was thinking with this kind of hardware, I will want to pay uh, the 60 euros for it because I think it's worth it 
and of course a 500 quart inch floppy drive always very nice um, <laughs> Helmond <laughs> Uh, and there's a lot of ISA cards in the in this uh, in this big box, so that's always nice because they are getting harder to find. And cards like this, so like the Philips cards, the <laughs> video uh, cards are really nice to in uh, 48 I think this is more for 486 system and it is looks in a really good shape yeah nice <laughs> come live in Helmond ah, I'm not sure I'm still scared of the guy in the wheelchair that he will push me in the in the river See the other ISA cards and a nice uh, uh, ISA uh, VGA card, which also I think we we have a real we can make we can make a real upgrade package for four eight or for two eight six system. <laughs> nice. So this is, I think this whole table full of hardware is really from the 90s and not even from the from the zero. So it's really, really the good old era of uh, PC uh, hardware. And let me see the caps of this Asus motherboard look all uh, in a good shape. Uh, the, the IDE. Uh, pins are not bent because this is from the era where they didn't put a uh, plastic piece around it so they but they uh, uh, look really cold plated so this really high quality uh, oh I see here the cash size let me see jumper 12 uh, 56 kilobytes, so there's probably 256 kilobytes of cash. <laughs> A special shape in video. <laughs> yeah, uh, a VA4. You should uh, check the the beard video because I shaved it up. Because Femke likes me more without a beard. Yes, it's really worth the 60 euros. Uh, I think uh, it was a good deal. Yeah, face a local bus is awesome. Uh, I will do a build someday with uh, with face a local bus and a 486. But I don't have that much face a local bus cards. Yeah, every face a local bus system is worth to save, even if you only can save only one part of it, like the I.O. controller or the video card or maybe the motherboard. <laughs> Did you get another Sound Blaster Live? Yes, yes, we have another Sound Blaster Live, but this is actually one of the earlier modules, so... I prefer always the earlier models over the later models. So this probably just a 4.1 version and uh, not with the front unit. So it's only the SP diff external adapter. So it's only the the bracket instead of the whole front unit. So this is really version one, and this is probably the value version of version one. So this good to have. So that's nice in combination with 
uh, the Riva Tinti uh, Ultra. So we have really we have really upgrade packages in here. So nice, like this S3 Trio 64 fits perfectly with this motherboard. TNT Ultra, very nice. Yes, I also have another one and I also have the 3D classes with it. So probably when I have the Iyama 19 inch back and up and running again, that the display is sharp again, because I found someone that can probably adjust it. I can, uh, that monitor can run at 150 Hertz. So probably with the 3D classes on 150 Hertz, I have really 75 Hertz per eye. And that will probably the, be a really good uh, gaming experience. Because uh, the 3D classes uh, switch eyes. So if you're only running at 60 Hertz, you have 30 Hertz per eye and that will give headaches. How many sound blaster lives does he <laughs> have now must be over 20 i think over over 30 <laughs> maybe 40. <laughs> if i do a uh, retro uh retro machines lamp party i will probably uh 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 bring some sound blasts live with me so you can buy them of me uh, to upgrade your machine or and have some three com cards that i have too much of them Maybe overclocking the Pentium 3 to 500 megahertz. Yeah, the, the 450 megahertz will run, think, on 550 megahertz. For what I remember, for my own 100 hertz was the minimum for 3D, but yeah, you can higher. Yeah, you need to get really high in the refresh rates. Are there Phaser Locobus network cards? Oh, nice. I have, uh, I, let me see. I only have had Phaser Locobus video cards and IDE IO controllers. I still need to have a Phaser Locobus Cushy card. But if you also have a Phaser Locobus uh, uh, network card, then you have ne need to have four Phaser Locobus slots. And I think they go to up to three Phaser Locobus. Hi Dennis, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, how much do Sound Blast lives cost in the Netherlands? I think the the normal sound, the 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 the, the most common Sound Blast lives, you can pick them up for around five euros or something. Maybe this earlier version is ten euros, fifteen euros. But if they don't know that is the early version, they still sell it for five euros. Seeing this hardware, good old memories coming back. I missed my 286. Yes, 286 is a great platform. Lot of good hardware. But I'm uh, really sad that the CPU cooler, the 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 clip is broken off by this. Uh, uh, cooler master cooler because I want I also have this cooler for the uh, 486 one also with a broken clip and one still in a, a, a good shape but I want to send the pictures of them to cooler master to get them excited about my channel so it's good that I found a cooler master cooler but it's bad that I can't really use it in a video with this clip so I need to see if I can get a fix for it. But the part is not anymore around. So just simply cluing it and reinforcing it won't work. And I'm not sure if you can 3D print this uh, part with also that it can screw, uh, screw in. Epoxy the cooler on the CPU. That is probably Impossibility. I mean, if you use an uh, an Intel Pentium, you there are a lot of them. You can simply just glue them up. <laughs> but then maybe the epoxy will uh, make a barrier for the heat. So 
I'm not sure if that's yeah maybe terminal clue and then just use this bracket to keep it on the on the spot so <laughs> paper clips yeah maybe or what I can do if I put it on make them and find a clip uh, the, 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 the metal bending clip and just put it under it and use it just on the hooks of the CPU socket because a Pentium socket has the clips on the side so there are possibilities so but I hope the the bearings are not worn worn, worn out how was the LAN party? The LAN party was great and how many of you did already seen the LAN party video? It, uh, the only problem on the LAN party that there were not that many people. So next LAN party, Dennis you should come and everyone should come to the LAN party. Nice, yay. Good. It was a lot of work to edit because I had two hours of footage of the LAN party. Mm. Just watched it. I wish I was there. Could bring my own network here as well. Uh, HP Zeta, where are you from? Yeah, we, we on the LAN party we need to have better network here. I just want to have gigabit switches and just 100, uh, 100 Mbit to the clients, but a uh, gigabit switches. So if we use more switches, we have gigabit lines between them. Uh, I want to have a file server, so I can probably gonna build up a file server here. I want to have a DHCP server and just a server to control the network that you just drop in the corner and that gives the DHCP. Uh, shares the games and stuff like that and f on a small LAN party that machine can be also a game server but on a bigger LAN party I also want to have a separate game server next to the uh, file server and the network server South Africa nice just come over to a Helmond for a uh, LAN party that is an excellent idea ID Yeah, uh, Bart from the Home Computer Museum, we will solve it all and and uh, we will have a nice uh, setup next time. But we just need to find, m find more people. Uh, internet just decided not to work today, but you are here, so it's probably working a little bit. But I always ask myself, are there people that still uses the old uh, 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 TV cards in the system? Because I never use them and I'm not sure what I gonna do with this TV card. Don't tempt me, I might just fly down there for a visit. <laughs> yeah, HP <laughs> Zeta, if you fly down to the Netherlands to visit the home computer museum I will I will pay for your ticket of the museum not the ticket of the flight but I will pay for the ticket of the museum and the LAN party can't use those TV cards in the US anymore because we went digital here in the Netherlands we are still analog for now but I think they will switch in next year or maybe a few years I have a small rack with 84 ports, 100 megabit switch, router, DSP, USB. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is that's th that's perfect. Just an 84 port switch. Just have 10 meter cables and have fun.
So I think I gonna just the the modem and the TV card. I don't gonna put uh, them in my collection because I don't see really the point of them anymore. <laughs> some some parts are obsolete. <laughs> my father had a TV card in his system, but uh, the TV cards uh, crashed the system. Yes, the drivers are not that great. Let me see how big is this memory module. Probably 120 megabytes. Well, it's okay, decent. I'm watching from Russia. Hi, nice. Nice to see you here. <laughs> oh. In one of the systems of the home computer museum, there was a Fudu 3, 3, uh, Fudu 3 2000 together with a uh, TV tuner card uh, next to each other in the slot. And after some gaming and stuff, uh, we replaced it with another card and the cards were pretty hot together. So we removed the TV card and the Fudu card to replace it with an uh, uh, GeForce 4 in that system that ma made more sense, <laughs> but it was running way too hot together. Hi, McCraker. Uh, nice to see you from South uh, Limburg. Next time, McCraker, you need to go to the uh, to the LAN party. We need to have more people there. The Netherlands is shutting down analog signal to free up space on the cable. They started with Rotterdam on the air. They actually killed analog 10 years ago. Yes, <laughs> but uh, my uh, here in my home, the TVs are still on the analog signal. So <laughs> we will wait when we need to switch. I'm from the Faroe Islands. Nice. How are you doing, Johan? And hi Detmar, how are you doing? Uh, analog cable here died a few years ago as well, kinda missed it. Yeah, analog just works. Just put a repeater, uh, a powered repeater in your signal and you have all, all the TVs with a good signal. It was really easy. Instead of every single TV in a special box and Okay, uh, are there uh, any last questions? And uh, maybe we can all uh, uh, smash that like button because uh, I think uh, I think I will end this stream, uh, so it will be uploaded after uh, after uh, while well, I stopped, and so people can see what I unboxed today. Thanks for the awesome live stream as well as always. Nice. Thanks for watching, of course, because I think this is the most worst time to live stream because in the US it's really early in the morning. Here it's a work day in the Netherlands, and so probably not much people can watch it right now. I hit like before the video even started. Nice, that's, that's the spirit of YouTube. Just if you see a creator that you like, just before you gonna watch it, just smash that like button and then you will watch it. Hey Sebastian, how are you doing? No, so sad this will end. Yes, I'm sorry. It's very nice weather in the Netherlands. No, it's a bit rainy today. Yesterday it was better. Uh, what kind of sports do you do? Uh, I don't do any sports in my life, but what I do a little bit is uh, just uh, some uh, running uh, uh, to get a bit active. Uh, so I do runs from uh, like six kilometers up to 10 kilometers. So maybe I will, if the weather is okay, I will go for a run after the stream. 
I'm from Asia. What time is it in Asia? So maybe this is the right time to stream for Asia, uh, for a for Asian uh, people and what. Uh. When is the next stream? I don't know yet. I need to see. Night time here right now. Oh, so that's not uh, the the best time for live streaming for you. <laughs> So let, let me see. Oh, we have now one hour and ten minutes and 37 people watching. So uh, thanks. Uh, thank you all to for watching the live stream. You can, uh, of course, uh, like and share and all that crap. <laughs> And please join Retro Machines on Facebook because we have a really nice community there. And there we also uh, announce when LAN parties are and you can ask questions and show your builds and stuff like that. And if you have problems with your Retro Machine, you we can help you out. There's a lot of people and a lot of knowledge there. So, and you can support me monthly on Patreon. Uh, I have a perk that is a shareware floppy uh, and there is a perk where I sent you uh, uh, old retro hardware which I signed and that can be really random. So maybe I can put uh, the, the TV card and the modem in that pile of parts that I can send out. I'm not sure yet, that's a possibility. So, And the home computer museum is spamming uh, and it is blocked now. <laughs> uh, so are there any Patreon supporters right now in the in the in the live stream watching? Because I have 14 Patreon supporters already. I love it. In uh, Friesland it's still awesome weather. Nice. Uh, maybe next time live uh, about a wall unbox of CPUs. If you send me a whole box of CPUs, I will unbox them live in a video. As soon as I get employed again, I will be a Patreon supporter. Nice. But uh, you can support me already, or, or you, the Patreon support can be even one dollar each month. So. I really appreciate that, but if you don't have a job and uh, don't be a Patreon supporter yet, but you're very welcome to be one. So are you all ready for the end screen of the live stream? So it's now safe to turn off your computer. Maybe for the live stream, for the intro, I need to have a uh, Windows 95 booting up. So if someone uh, has a good video about Windows 95 booting up from the BIOS screen, maybe we can put it in front of the live stream. That will be nice. But if you're still here, just turn off your computer. <laughs> 